last victory at Anfield, the latest chapter in the long rivalry of these Merseyside neighbours was about to be written. Origi through the middle, Mane looks to find him, Origi's in, Origi scores again in the derby, it's his game! Sinebe's in reverse, Mane's forcing him back, Sadio Mane, Shakiri through! And Everton just don't know where to look. Defender Michael Keane snatched a goal back for the Blues, giving Marco Silva's side a glimmer of hope that was soon extinguished. Lovren, that's a Super Bowl, what a touch, what a finish, what a magnificent goal from Timo Corrigi. Alexander-Arnold is dashing, Shakiri is up alongside, it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, Sadio Mane! They are in Merseyside paradise. A pulsating first half finished with the sixth goal of the game. Richarlison's header meant Silva still had something to build on after the break. But Liverpool remained in the mood for a demolition. And spin in by Wijnaldum! And the Reds have ripped up Derby Day! Where to next? It may be, indeed for him, exit time. The following day, Marco Silva was shown the door. The end of his 18 months in charge. Managerless Arsenal were still falling short of expectations, beaten on their own ground by Brighton. The 2-1 success for Graham Potter's side meant the Gunners had gone two months without a league win. Way off the pace, ten points adrift at the top four. Jose Mourinho's return to Old Trafford ended with his first defeat as Tottenham boss. Marcus Rashford netted twice, supporting Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's insistence that United were making progress and preparing them nicely for a big weekend. So tuck in, savour it all, raw and ritualistic as it is, and of course so very relevant way beyond the city walls of Manchester. Midway through the first half in the Manchester derby, Rashford picked up where he left off. Bernardo Silva's challenge initially went unpunished, but VAR took a second look and advised Anthony Taylor to award a penalty. Rashford rolls it in for the Reds! And they lead on the territory of their neighbourly champions. Martial, James. Martial scores! You could hear a pin drop. Torres plays it in, and Otamendi notches it in, and there is life in the derby. The final whistle on his wheel turns for the better. City, perhaps today, dethroned by United. Pep, 14 points off the lead. Everton faced Chelsea two days after sacking Marco Silva, with club legend Duncan Ferguson in interim charge. Inspired, they inflicted a third defeat in four games on Frank Lampard, leaping out of the relegation zone in the process. Former Leicester manager Nigel Pearson was appointed as Watford's new head coach and made his bow at Anfield. The bottom club went the same way as most of Liverpool's opponents. Jurgen Klopp celebrated signing a new contract with a hard-fought 2-0 victory. The following day, Mikel Arteta's future was the subplot to Manchester City's 3-0 win away at Arsenal. With rumours gathering momentum that Pep Guardiola's assistant would soon be back at the Emirates as a boss in his own right. Five days later, the former Gunners captain was confirmed as their new head coach on a three-and-a-half-year deal. A week on, Pearson had had the chance to size up his Watford resources and pulled off a notable surprise. His first home game in charge was a 2-0 win that underlined Manchester United's lack of consistency. The Premier League trophy sits proudly in the inner sanctum of City's home, still dressed in sky blue and white ribbons. But unless we see a team recover to win English football's most pride possession like never before, then that trophy will be heading down Mancunian way and out of this city. Still determined to retain their prize, the champions started on the front foot against Leicester, only to fall victim to Jamie Vardy's blistering pace. But a player very familiar to the Foxes launched the home side's comeback. Morris trying to liven things up here. Riyad Morris! 
Raheem Sterling. Sterling hits the deck. Penalty. Gundogan. Clinical. Manchester City have to be flawless. And they now have the edge against Leicester. Kevin De Bruyne. Driving at Soyuncu. And away from Soyuncu. De Bruyne. Jesus! While Liverpool's backs are turned, Manchester City cut the gap between themselves and top spot, and they give Leicester City a tap on the shoulder too. Old friends turn foes at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Jose Mourinho's trophy-laden reign as Frank Lampard's Chelsea manager saw the pair collect two Premier League crowns. Now the Portuguese had different allegiances in a bitter Spurs-Chelsea rivalry. But it was the less experienced boss who triumphed. Willian tucked away both goals in a 2-0 success to ensure it was Lampard who went home feeling special. Another former title winner, Carlo Ancelotti, took over at Everton, where his presence immediately brought the desired response from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. That goal enough to beat Burnley and lift the Toffees to 13th. After being crowned the best in the world by winning the FIFA Club World Cup, Liverpool's return to Premier League action took them to the King Power Stadium. Herrera's header away, the queue for Leicester to push out. They can't get too far out before it comes back in again. It's a brilliant header. Roberto Firmino claims the goal. It stayed that way for the next 40 minutes either side of half-time until Charles Soyontu's handball changed the complexion of the closing stages. James Milner prized open the floodgates. Never in doubt, another huge goal for Liverpool. Alexander Arnold flashes it in. 3 0. Alexander Arnold brilliantly hit. Liverpool tearing Leicester apart. Champions of Europe. Champions of the world, and now another big step towards being crowned champions of England. As Manchester City approached the end of 2019, they could sense the silverware slipping away. A red card for Edison early on at Wolves gave them more trouble to contend with. The reaction was impressive. Raheem Sterling struck twice to have the 10 men two up before Adama Traore sparked a stirring fight back from Wolves. Eight minutes from the end, Raul Jimenez set up an enthralling finale, which culminated in Matt Doherty completing the turnaround to leave Pep Guardiola's team 14 points behind the league leaders. For Leicester, everything was still pointing towards a successful season. They finished the year in second place with a 2-1 win at West Ham. A ninth defeat in 12 games for the Hammers prompted the dismissal of manager Manuel Pellegrini after 18 months in the chair. The following day, the London club announced David Moyes would take over for a second spell. Mikel Arteta's task was to get to grips with Chelsea in his first home game as Arsenal's boss. Until the Gunners threw away the lead towards the end, it had been going well for the Spaniard. His team conceded twice in the final seven minutes to lose 2-1. Liverpool had a 13-point lead to carry into 2020, despite playing a game fewer than their would-be challengers. Leicester the closest of those, while Wolves and Sheffield United continued to win many plaudits. Norwich, Watford and Aston Villa made up the bottom three, Arsenal were far from happy in the bottom half, while West Ham were banking on Moyes to steer them to safety again.